You know, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what this bunny torture thing's all about, Rex. I mean, can you elaborate on this for the, at least for the home audience, if not for the the house? Well, audience? she has a she has a very special and unique talent, which she'll be demonstrating a little bit later on. Uh, it's something that uh, you'll find very exciting. It's going to be exciting. I don't understand how that could ever be exciting. Well, you just have to wait and see it. That's all right. All I can tell you. Okay. okay uh, one from uh, Nations. Let's hit the Mad Dog. All right, Mad Dog Water King in there. Uh, Dan Fabiano and uh, Mad Dog Water King. Uh, Dan Fabiano, of course, the cactus rancher from San Carlos, Arizona. Dan is a cactus. See, that's something I didn't know about, Dan being a cactus rancher. Well, he was a former roadrunner wrangler for Warner Brothers. <laughs> The man never worked at Warner Brothers. How do you come up with things like the man worked at Warner Brothers? I don't I, understand. I have, uh, I have this on good authority that he wrangled Roadrunners for Warner Brothers. Okay, here we go. Mad Dog Water King and Fabulous Dan Fabiano. Mad Dog Water King, Fabulous Dan Fabiano. Mad Dog Water King, this is his first time here in the the UWC, is that correct? Uh, I believe it is. He uh, once snored while a man was killed in Brooklyn. What is this? You know, I, I don't understand. Oh, what is, what is, uh, why is Bull Ramos Jr. at, at ringside this afternoon? I, I don't figure that out at all. I believe Bull has a vested interest. I mean, oh, this Fabiano is just rolling the guy. Well, he'll be right at home if he's a cactus rancher. There's some, you know, that was part, that was part, that was partly the ashes of, 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 uh, of Carl Gales, along with the, uh, along with some of the soil from his I don't ranch. Know. I, I don't know if those uh, helpers did a very good job cleaning up that ring. We still have some ashes in there, and that may uh, that may prove a hindrance later on in these matches. Well, now a headlock by Mad Dog Water King, Mad Dog, uh, a bodybuilder. I understand. Oh! Oh! Wow! Chest and forearm smash. I puts mean, what a keen to the mat. He just, he just hit a brick wall. And once again, he's going to take another shot. Down again. And the mad dog is certainly going to be mad about this. He came here. He came here expecting to get uh, in the light. Of course, he's a lightweight. Lightweight for one of our lightweight wrestlers at a hundred. Well, I. Uh, eight pounds and he knocked him down. I think that shows that he does have some power. He certainly took out the Matt, the fabulous Dan Fabiano. No relation to you, to yours truly, Ray Fabiano. Well, I don't think he was uh, prepared for that. Mad Dog showing a considerable amount of power for a slight man. Well, he's he's a he's a bodybuilder, a weightlifter. He's a powerlifter. He's also a uh, in the lightweight competition here. What I have here in my notes is he was the number one contender in uh, the amateur ranks in uh, the Greco-Roman wrestling, but he's, he's in against a, a, a heavyweight. This, of course, Australian rules, three-minute rounds, four three-minute rounds. Coming up on one minute to go in this round. That's a misprint on the program. One minute rounds. No, Australian rules are four three minute rounds. And at the end of four three minute rounds, if a decision has not been uh, a disqualification, a pin, a submission has not been acquired by either wrestler, uh, the referee makes a decision. The referee will be using the Spider Savage point system. And he just, and he just clotheslined him. Just a total clothesline. Oh, Ash to the chest. That ends the first round. And that'll end the first round. That ends the first round. An elbow smash to end the first round. That is not the match, merely the round. There's three more rounds to go. And, uh, well, Mad Dog, quite a competitor, I must say. Uh, yes, he's going to have to call on all of his reserves, I believe, though, to take Dan Fabiano today. You know, one of the things that uh, I've noticed I know you want to get close, Ray, but what's no, going no, on? No, 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 I'm just re readjusting this, uh, these mics here.
There's the bell to signal the start of the second round in this Australian 20 rules match. Go back and tell Pistol Pete I said, go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fabiano is putting the weight advantage for the shirt, putting the weight behind it. And once again, he just lifts him up like a toy on that one. This would be the kind of match you'd enjoy, going in against a lightweight man and using... Oh, belly to back suplex! I think he injured him on that one. I, I don't think Mad Dog's going to get up too soon. Mad Dog! Oh. Had a heavy, heavy elbow smash. And he's got him tied up. Uh, I believe you know the name of that hold. I'm not familiar with that toe hold. That's a. Uh, well, I believe that that's the uh, secondary twisting toe hold. Secondary. Made the secondary made popular by Vern Gagne in the late 50s. Ah, the great Vern Gagne. Oh! Oh, and a, right he's, going, he's just He's just trying to crack the tibia is what he's doing there. Well, he's he going to do He separates the nerve. Oh! If he separates the nerve from that bone, I don't think that uh, Mad Dog will be able to walk out of this ring. Well, apparently, uh, Mad Dog taking a good beating here. He is a smaller man, a lighter man, but a lot of heart, a lot of intestinal fortitude. Dan Fabiano yelling, he's all right. Let's call him Dr. Dan Fabiano. Oh, and a forearm throw. I see standing behind our table is the one and only Carlo Merced, who took a, uh, quite a splash from Fabiano a couple of nights ago. Fabiano using a chair on his shoulder. Oh, no, no. Oh, now he's just going to punish the guy, right? This is your style. Have you been training this guy or something? Actually, Ray, uh, we have spent a little bit of time in the gym. Well, look at this, carrying him around like a rag doll. Look out, power slam! Oh, my! Oh, man. There's gonna be some spinal damage there. He is, he is really uh, just Dan, working the man uh, over. Dan is making short work of Mad Dog. Well, we have 90 seconds left in this round. Oh, a headbutt to the sternum! Oh, the pride of the Chippewa Nation is going, uh... Referee Alex Knight, slow to count. Count of one, and Mad oh, Dog pushing out. Off. I don't know where he's finding that strength, right? I, well, one thing about Mad Dog, I spoke to him earlier. It's a little hard to talk to the guy. That's why they call him a... Oh! A little, a little, a little uh, clothesline. Nice follow-up. shiver to the, to the chest. That was a nice follow-up. Nice low beal by the Mad Dog. And he's certainly using the speed and uh, dexterity to throw the bigger Dan Fabiano around. We're down to about 30 seconds in this round. And, uh, of course, the referee, Alex Knight, uh, always looking uh, as if he's asleep. But that man is not asleep. He's a very heavy thinker. Hold on, man, boy. Look out. Wait a minute. There's no timeouts in wrestling. He's looking for a tasty cake break here. And again, oh, the full weight. Match. And 168 pounds. Mad Dog Guadalquin may be smaller, but that's, oh, that's like catching, chest match. catching two 75-pound sacks of potatoes on your chest. It's too exciting. And a peel. Once oh, again, the hip lock. Big, big hip toss. Takes him down, and now going. We have about eight seconds to go in the round. Five. Wait a minute. Man, there's no pin. Not enough that time. Is the second round in this Australian rules match. Uh, it's good to see that the uh, nerve wasn't separated from the leg bone there. Well, apparently, apparently the Mad Dog has done his his homework in the gym and has beat beefed up his uh, his fibula, tibula, the uh, the uh, the hamstrings around the. Uh, now, now Dan Fabiano is doing a very interesting and smart thing attacking the man between the rounds this should be a disqualification i don't understand why this is allowed we are between right we haven't even started the second round yet and the referee is the third round the referee is just letting it go I, I don't understand alex knight the referee just letting him take he's just letting the man go for it and now we start the sack the third round excuse me well, that third round started at least uh, 30 seconds ago. And now Fabiano's going to take a little stroll around the ring. If, uh, I don't know if uh, Al is paying attention to the rules. I don't understand if the referee is, uh, understands English here. Uh, is he familiar with the Australian rules? I, I don't know. I, I, he should be. In the UWC, all the opening matches are always Australian rules. Uh, one fall, four rounds. 
He's not even making a count. I don't understand this. But now it's now it's ring. That's the end of the third round. That is the end of the third round. We're going to go into the fourth round now. And thanks to uh, the officiating of the, the one and only Alex Knight, we're, we're in total confusion here. I've seen some strange things happen in this UWC, but this is the strangest. Well, not the strangest. The, the worst thing I've ever seen is in the middle of a, of a memorial service to see someone kick the ashes of a dead man all over the ring, smash the, the, uh, the urn. Well, that's, uh, that's the Mongolian stomper. He, uh, he's from a broken branch of his family tree. Well, apparently. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Hi, yeah, Okay, we're starting the, oh, okay. I'll see you next time. All right, here we go. Three minutes. Three minutes to go in the fourth round, and oh, man, the bear hug. Dan Fabiano putting on the power. He is. You can see the... Ooh, a bell clapper. Oh, the slingshot. I don't see anybody getting up from that. There's a cover. And the one, two, three, that's all. There's Fabiano. 28 seconds to the fourth round. Yeah, Fabiano's probably very proud of himself right now. <laughs>